thank you, Stephanie. Oh, come on, Grantley. She's soon going to realise I was telling her the truth. Especially when Dave ends up in court for stalking me. Look, I know I've been a ditzy cow. Even if I do get through, there is still the, the indignity of having my private life the subject of gossip and open ridicule. Would you like it? And now I'm meant to face that class again after such a humiliating spectacle. Well, you face them wearing that. Uh oh. Yes, you might well. Uh oh. Look, Steph, call me old fashioned. But I can't stand by and let a decent woman be cheated on by her husband. Well, no thanks to you and your huffing size 12s. Everything's sorted. What? Well, you mean she's forgiven him, Lee? Yep. And me. All out in the open. So that's it? The end of the affair? Yep. And just so you know, any chance you might have had with me is well and truly down the swanee. Well, if you're free... I'm not free. But you said... Yes, I know what I said. What the...? I thought you might want these. They probably mean more to you than I did. Now, come on, love. Hmm? Let's be reasonable. No, that's it, Grantley. You needn't bother coming back to the house. Fleur, this is ludicrous. What are you doing? Your best shirt and tie's there if you want to impress her. It's over, Grantley. I just hope she's worth it. Honestly, Maxine, she's like one of them women you'd find in the jungle, like she's been raised by wolves or something. I'm telling you, she's wild. That lad is trouble. I've heard you. This is my final year. I'm not going to chuck it all away for a lad who's in year 11. Good. Steph, is it true you're shagging Mr Budget? Max, I might be desperate, but even I've got some standards. So why is he on our doorstep? 